Hey beauty babes, I'm Raquel and this is Perfected Beauty. And the makeup look in today's video is inspired by the new live action movie of The Lion King that's going to be coming out in which Beyonce is going to be playing Nala and I am so very excited about it like I just cannot express to you there's no words to convey how excited I am to see Beyonce as Nala. I'm just in love with Beyonce. I love everything she does. Beyonce can do no wrong in my eyes. So once I saw that she was going to be in this Lion King movie and that she was going to be playing Nala, I decided to do a look inspired by that. As you can see, it's pretty much just a glam look with some Nala ears on, but I love it. I love how it came out. I'm so very happy with this and I hope that you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed creating it. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in in the color chocolate and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows so I'm thinking I want to go with a slightly just slightly fluffier looking brow than I usually do because she's a lion okay so I said slightly fluffier brows and I feel like I made them way fluffier but that's what concealer is for so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my eyebrow shape and for this, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And now I'm just gonna blend that concealer all over my lid. Now I'm gonna take a slightly darker concealer, the color Chestnut. I'm gonna mix that Chestnut in with a little bit of Fawn and just clean up the tops of my eyebrows. So now I'm going to go ahead and lightly set my eyelids. I don't want to put too much powder on them, but I also just don't want them to crease too much. And I'm using the Sasha Buttercup powder to do this. And now I think I'll go ahead and move on to the ears. So for the ears, I want to put them back pretty close to my hairline. So these ears I actually made myself out of special effects gelatin. I did record the whole thing, so if you wanna see that video, go ahead and click the link in the description box and you'll be able to see exactly how I made them. Um, and to apply them, I'm gonna be using spirit gum. So I'm gonna put this Vaseline around slash on my baby hairs because I don't want to pull out any hairs when I'm taking these ears off. So I have my Vaseline in place. Now I'm going to decide where I want these ears. And I'm gonna take just this brown lip liner and mark out where I wanna put them. Now that I've got that figured out, I'm going to apply them with spirit gum. So I'll just take it and lay it right on that line that I marked out for the ears on my head and then also a little bit on the base of the ear. And then with spirit gum you have to tap it to make sure that it gets tacky. And you can see those like strings starting to form. And I'm just gonna put my fingers inside that ear and press down. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side for the other ear. And then once you've got your ears stuck on just how you like them and you feel like they're secure, you can go ahead and take some either spirit gum remover or I'm just gonna use 99% alcohol and clean up the extra spirit gum around the ears. Okay, so I have my ears applied. They're pretty secure, I can shake, they're not going anywhere. If you can see, it kinda just looks like the ear is sitting on top of my head, as opposed to being a part of my head. So what I'm gonna use to try and fix that is called Skin Tight. It's basically a skin safe silicone. So you mix two parts together, once they touch, they start to react, and they dry into a rubber type texture. So I'm going to pour part A of the Skin Tight onto to my makeup palette and you want to work with this in very small doses because once it cures it's done there's you're not getting any more use out of it so I'm just gonna pour out a small amount and before I mix in part B I'm gonna take a little bit of the foundation that I colored my ears with and I'm gonna mix it into part A so that this silicone will be the same color as the ears and it'll help blend them into my skin so I got just a little bit of that on my spatula and now I'm gonna mix it into just the part A so now I've got part A and then I'm gonna mix in part B so you want to put equal amounts of part A and B and then mix them together so I'm gonna go ahead and start smoothing that on 
And I also wanna go ahead and make sure the edges that are laying on my head are pretty flat. And I'm gonna do that by scraping it away till there's barely anything there and leaving the bulk of the silicone up towards the ear. Do the same thing on the other ear. Okay, so we've got our seams pretty nicely camouflaged. I'm going to let that silicone go ahead and set as much as it will before I powder it. Once it's set, I'm going to powder it with the translucent powder to get rid of the shine. And then once we do the rest of our face makeup, it'll blend in pretty nicely. So I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. For this look, I'm gonna pretty much be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. And I'm going to start with my brow bone highlight. So for that, I'm going to use the color Fairy. So I'm taking the color Fairy from the Soft Glam Palette and I'm just gonna put that right on my brow bone. And I'm really trying to almost massage it in because I find that with shimmery shadows like this, when you rub it, into the skin, it really just highlights so beautifully. And then after I've got that placed down, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out those edges so that it blends nicely with the rest of my shadows. So now moving on to the crease, I'm gonna use the color Burnt orange all the way across. I'm gonna start just under that fairy color and just start buffing this into the crease. And I'm stopping short on the outer corner for this eye because I wanna try and create more of a rounded shape for this eyeshadow look. I'm gonna try and keep it right at the edge of where my eye stops. I think now our silicone is set, so I'm gonna go back up to the ears for a second just to set it with some translucent powder to get rid of that shine. And now after that powder, it's looking quite white. I'm not too concerned about it though because once we go in with the foundation on top of it, it'll be great. Moving back to the eyes we have that burnt orange down in the crease next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take sienna and put it on the inner and outer corners of my eye to start with the halo I'm putting down this softer color first not only to add depth to the eyeshadow look but it also helps you kind of mark out the shape of your eyeshadow before you put down a heavier darker color with lighter colors you can always still manipulate the way it looks but once you put down your darker color, you're pretty much committing to that shape. So I like to put down the lighter, softer color first, just so that I can kind of flesh out what I want it to look like. And I want to bring this halo look up pretty high because I want to cut the crease, if you will, with that gold foil. So I want you to definitely be able to see that. Now I'm gonna go in on top of that sienna with cypress umber, and I'm gonna use a slightly smaller blending brush to apply that color. I'm making sure to really keep in mind the rounded shape that I want the finished look to have when I'm applying color mostly to the outer corners. I'm gonna go back in with some Sienna to blend in that Cypress Umber color. And I'm liking how this looks, but I want I want some more depth into the look. So I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette and get a deeper brown and go ahead and build some intensity on top of that cypress umber. I'm using soda pop for this. Now I'm actually gonna take a makeup wipe and go straight down the center of my eye so that I can lay down a light base for the inner part of my halo. I'm gonna take some more of that Fawn concealer to do that. I'm gonna apply that mostly in the center and then just kind of tap and blend out the edges. And I'm gonna use a smaller fluffy brush to blend out the edges of that fawn. I'm blending the edges of the concealer into the existing eyeshadow that's already there. It's just going to make it easier for whatever shadows I lay down to blend seamlessly into the eye look. So now before I put down the lightest color of my halo, I'm gonna start on the outer portions of my halo. So I'm gonna go back to that soft glam palette and use some sienna to kind of transition from that really deep color back into the lighter colors. And then I'm gonna go back in with some of Soda Pop from the Jaclyn Hill collection to blend the two together. And I'm just alternating back and forth between sienna and Soda Pop until I like the transition. And then right in the center of the halo, I'm gonna use Orange Soda from the Soft Glam palette. And then again, I'm gonna go back and forth between Orange Soda and Sienna to make sure I like that transition. Now 
taking sienna and just going around the entire halo to just soften all the edges of those colors before i cut my crease and to adhere the gold leaf, I'm going to take some of this NYX Glitter Primer and basically draw out where I want the gold leaf to stick. And then once I have that glitter primer in the shape that I want it, I'm going to take this gold leaf with a pretty small brush and just start sticking it on to the glitter primer. And the hope is that it'll just stick where I place that primer down. And so once I've got it laid down in the general shape that I like, I'm going to actually go in and kind of like flick away at it because I want there to be some breaks in it. I like the kind of piece together look of it. And to finish off this, I am going to go in with some honeycomb glitter gel from IO Beauty. And I'm going to put it just on the lightest part of that halo. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. Once I place the glitter down, I go ahead and tap over it with my finger while it's still wet to kind of evenly distribute it all over the eye look. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the eyes there for now. We'll come back to them in a little bit. Now it's time to start working on the face. So first I'm gonna use this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer, and I'm gonna use that mostly in my T-zone just to keep the oils at bay. This primer does go on white. As you can see, do not be alarmed. It pretty much covers really well I haven't had any issues with flashback and I've been using it for a while so you know just don't don't be concerned I'm gonna start with my darker foundation and use it on my forehead and around my ears to try and blend those bad boys in and I'm using a brush for up here because I just feel like it'll be easier to maneuver with a brush around these ears and I said that this was my darker foundation but it's looking like it might match all of me so there's that. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just going to put it on and then blend it out with my sponge. This is really my preferred method of foundation application, but like I said, I used that brush around the ears because I felt like it would be easier. Now I'm going to use a mix of fawn and chestnut to highlight. Now I'm going to use that same brush that I used to put the foundation on my forehead to kind of blend in that highlight color so that it's not so drastically light. I do want to highlight and I want it to be popping, but I don't want it to look crazy. So I'm just gonna blend the edges of that highlight back into flesh tone. Then I'll go over that with my sponge. I'm gonna use the color Chai and the It's My Ray Ray collab with BH Cosmetics to set my under eye before I go ahead and bake. And I just find that using a powder before I bake stops my powder that I used to bake with from clinging on too much and leaving behind too much of a cast. So I set with that and then I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup to bake. And while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and contour with that. It's my Ray Ray palette and I'm going to use Brownie Bite to contour with. So first I'm just putting down that contour color and then once I've got it pretty much off my brush. I go in to blend. I'm trying to do a quite dramatic contour for this look. In the picture, I feel like Nala is snatched. So, trying to do the same. Then I'm gonna take the same brush that I set my under eye with and a little bit of that mocha to brush away this powder. I'm gonna take some Mario Badescu rose water just to set all those powders down on my face. Now for the under eye, I'm going to basically repeat the same colors underneath and I'm gonna use this NYX retractable eyeliner in my waterline and I think I will go ahead and put a little bit of glitter on top of that orange soda underneath just so it can match the top next I'm going to contour my nose and I'm gonna use a mix of brownie bite and mocha from that it's my Ray Ray palette to get the perfect contour shade for my nose and then I think the other thing that I want to do as kind of a nod to Nala is I want to do a darker top lip than bottom lip. So I'm going to use this brown liquid lipstick. I think this is Ruby Kisses on my top lip. And I don't know if I want to leave my bottom lip bare or if I want to put a lipstick on it. I think I'll leave it bare for now. Actually, before lashes, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. So I'm going to use the Babe in Paradise highlight palette, which was a collaboration between Br 
Redman Rock and Morphe. And I'm gonna use Shady Beward. Then I'm gonna just use some of this Morphe setting spray because I feel like that really sets down my highlight whenever I spray it. I'm just gonna tap over it with my makeup sponge. And now I think before I do anything else, I'm gonna do mascara and lashes. And the lashes that I'm gonna be using are the Morphe lashes and the style is Go On and Fake It. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and let my hair down and I'll be right back. Okay, beauty babe. so I am back. I have lashes on, my hair is taken down, and I just wanna add a few finishing touches in before I call her done. So the first thing is I want to sort of wing out my inner corners just a little bit because in the photo, Nala does have like very deep cat eyes basically in the inner corner so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm taking my NYX liquid liner and I'm just going to extend these inner corners just a little bit okay so that's the first adjustment I wanted to make I'm not gonna do a wing on the outer corner because our eyes are very rounded in the photo so I'm gonna leave it like this I'm also gonna sort of kind of give myself whiskers Nala obviously has whiskers in the photo so I just went ahead and gave myself whiskers with that same liquid liner and then I also I also want to lighten the inside of my ears a little bit. So for that, I'm going to be taking this Skin Effects Body Impressions Rotter Zombie Alcohol Activated Paints. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to use the color Wheat for this. For alcohol activated paints, usually they come with an activator. So you can use the activator or you can just use 99% alcohol. And I'm just going to use this right inside of my ears to lighten the inside of them and make them look a little more like ears. Wheat is a little bit lighter than I want it to be. So I'm gonna mix in some of that dark chocolate. For my bottom lip, I'm gonna use Brunch by Morphe. And while that was still wet, I used this lip pencil by Morphe, the color is Vibes. And I put that on the, on the outer corners of my lips and I use just this disposable lipstick wand to blend those together. Now for some Morphe setting spray. Okay guys, and that's gonna complete this Nala inspired look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you loved it as much as I do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll catch you in the next one.